Today we will see another programming problem which is asked commonly in Google, Amazon and Microsoft interviews. And this problem is to find the second largest node in a binary search tree. So first let's see what is a binary search tree. So it's a binary tree as the name says. And here there is a property that every node in the left subtree of any node is smaller than that node. For example, if we see 50, then it will have two subtrees because it's a binary tree and all the nodes in this part will have value less than 50. Similarly, if we see 30, we see that the left subtree has just one element, 20, so it's less than 30 and on the right subtree it's 40, which is more than 40. Similarly, in the right subtree of 50, we will see that 70, 75, 80, 90, all are bigger than 50. So this is binary search tree. Now we have to find the second largest element. So here we see that 90 is the largest and uh, this 80 is the second largest. So we know that uh, if we do in order traversal of a binary search tree, then the elements are printed in the sorted order. So if we do in order, then in order means first print all the elements of left subtree, then print the current element and then print all the elements of right subtree. So if we call this function on root, it will call recursively on this left subtree and this 30 will in turn call for 20. So 20 will have no uh, left or right subtree, so it will then print the current value that is 20 and it will return back to calling function 30. So it will then print 30 and then print the right subtree. And then this will return to 50 and it will print 50. And then similarly it will do for the right subtree and it will print 70, 75, 80 and 90. So this is the in-order traversal. So we see that all the elements are in the sorted order. So from the in-order traversal, you would see that uh, one obvious solution would, would be coming to your mind is that we want the second largest element. So the largest would be in the end because it's sorted. So the second largest would be second last element. So for this, uh, we will need to uh, traverse, complete the traversal because we want second last element. So another way is that we can reverse the in order. So traverse the tree in reverse in order way. So here first, traverse all the elements of right subtree, then the current node, and then all the elements of left subtree. So in that case, it will print 90, 80, 75, 70, 50, 40, 30, and 20. So in reverse in order, it will be at the second position. So we can stop here only. So we will not need to traverse the entire tree. So let's first see uh, what's the algorithm for in order or uh, so in order is that we provide the root node so we do in order of roots left then print root and then do in order of root right. So on the same lines, we can write reverse in order algorithm. And here again, we provide the root node. So what we will do, we will change the order. First, we will traverse right subtree, then the current node and then the left subtree. So reverse in order, root right, then print roots data or root node data and then reverse in order, root left. So this will print traverse all the elements 
in descending order of the value but we will not do this entire traversal to find the second largest element so for that we can keep a counter so we can modify this algorithm and we will stop when we just print two elements so we will keep a counter we can initialize it to zero and whenever we print any node we increment the counter and when count becomes two we will print that element and we will not print otherwise so let's see it in the running code how we can uh, change uh, the reverse in order traversal and find the second element of the binary search tree so first let's define the structure of tree node so here we will have two uh, child nodes left node and right node and one we will have data which will contain the data in that node for now let's consider it to be int and then define one constructor for that So this is the constructor for that node. Now let's write a function to insert elements to a tree. So insert node, it will need the pointer to the root node and the value that we want to insert. So the base case would be that this root node is empty. So if we have root node is null, then we need to create a new node so we will return a new node and insert that value into it so it will return just a tree with one node otherwise if it's not null then that means uh, the tree was already there so we need to put this value at appropriate position in the tree so there are two cases if this value is less than roots data then we insert in the left subtree so uh, else if the value is more than roots data then we insert in the right subtree and the third case is that this value is exactly equal to roots data in that case we will not insert it because we just keep track of unique values in the tree and we don't want any duplicate values and finally we return the updated root now let's insert some nodes in the tree so let's create a root and it's 30 then let's insert a few values to it let's say 20 and we need to put address here because it's node star node pointer and then insert a few more values 40 50 10 25 so this tree will have five plus one six elements six nodes now uh, let's start stepwise so we saw that we will modify this reverse in order and keep track of count so first 
task is uh, to just implement the reverse in order then we will start modifying it to get our result so first let's write the reverse in order and it will take a pointer to the root node so there may be possibility that the tree is empty that is root node is null then we don't have anything to print so we will return otherwise we will do reverse in order of right subtree and then we will print the current nodes value and then finally do the reverse in order of left subtree now let's call it on the current root and let's see if it prints correctly or not so let's put a new line character here so it correctly prints 50, 40, 30, 25, 20 and 10 that is in descending order of their value so first task is done we have implemented the reverse in order now we just need the second largest so let's keep track of a count here so let's create a new function and we will modify it second largest So currently it's same as reverse in order now we will add something so we will add a counter so initially it's zero and whenever we are about to print any value we will increment count and now let's print the count also And let's delete it and now let's call our this function and let's run it so now we see that when 50 is printed count is 1 when 40 is printed count is 2 so now we have a reverse in order as well as their position index so 50 is first 1 means largest 2 means second largest so now we can use this count so we can have a check that if count is equal to 2 then print this value and once we have printed the second largest we are done we don't need to traverse further so we will simply return now let's print it so it prints 42 and nothing else so 40 is in fact our our desired answers because 40 is the second largest so now let's uh, get rid of this count also and now let's print it so it just prints 40 so this way we have implemented our solution So this is the complete solution and you see that this can be modified if we want third, third largest we can put here 3. So you see how we can uh, start to approach the problem and then build on top of it. So let's summarize that we were asked to find the second largest element of a binary search tree 
So then we saw that in order traversal of tree sorts the elements, prints the elements in sorted order. So we thought that we need second largest. So that is almost it's near the end. So it's better to do reverse in order. Then we did reverse in order. Then we um, improved our solution that we don't need to traverse further. Once we have traversed two elements and then uh, we added those checks, checks here, like when count is two, then we are about to print the, we are traversing the second largest element. So we will print that data and then return. So uh, I hope you understood uh, this problem completely and try to develop this uh, algorithmic thinking at, and try to build the problem bottom up. So first try to arrive at simple solution then try to improve it gradually. And this will be very helpful in uh, the interviews at uh, the top firms like Google, Microsoft, Amazon, or Adobe. So uh, all the best and thanks for watching.